But first, I'm going to take you to the back of the room. Oh, she didn't see it. <laughs> yes. She, she's been focused and very good. I'm going to ask you all to turn around. <laughs> On half of the board. Resolution number 2023-99, in appreciation of Joan Lark. Whereas Joan Lark has served on the Bret Hart Union High School Board Governing Board beginning December 1985 through December 2022. And whereas Joan Lark first served as president of the board in December of 1988. And whereas Joan Lark was instrumental in the building of the Dr. Elliott Smart Theater and Tony Tyrell Sports Complex, the Science and Math Building, and the Michael Gimini Multipurpose Room. And whereas Joan Lark has contributed numerous hours serving on the curriculum, discipline, school site, council negotiating committees, career technical education, and county special ed committees. <laughs> you were busy. Joan Lark led the board in passing an $18 million bond in development and maintaining facilities, where Joan Lark was unselfish and timeless, given of herself to benefit the students and staff of the Bret Hart Union High School District. And whereas Joan Lark has provided an invaluable link between the community and the school district, whereas Joan Lark continues to advocate to best serve the students in the community each and every day, whereas an acknowledgement of Joan Lark's immeasurable contributions to the Bret Hart Union High School District, the governing board desires to place a permanent bench in her name on the campus. You will see that in a minute. Now, therefore, it is resolved that the Bret Hart Union High School District staff and governing board do hereby declare that deep appreciation to Joan Lark for her dedication and hard work on behalf of the district. Past five zero. Thank you. I'm sure you have something to see us on at home. <laughs> That's for you. Well, thank you. Careful, Sammy. Okay. And the floral department made you a very nice. Oh, that's nice. Yes. And then hold on one second. We'll go up front again. Then you can talk. There we go. Yay. That will be placed at the front entrance to the school by the attendance window. Thank you. Thank you. Did you want to say a few words? Sure. <laughs> well, thank you very much. This is totally unexpected. Yes. I thought maybe I'd get a plaque. Well, thank you very much. And thank you all for coming. It's nice seeing all of you again. I appreciate it. And I appreciate all of you on the board. And we've got some past board members here. It has been a good board, and Nick, you've got a really good team to work with. Everybody here cares about the school, and they care about the students, and when all of you go to the conference, you're going to see how good this board is. You won't believe the things that other boards do. And seeing all of you, it's just really nice. Thank you very much for coming out, and uh, we've been working with all of you. So. Thank you very much. We would like to give anybody else who would like to say something. You first or me first? All right, go first. Okay, I apologize for the way I look, but in my new life... <laughs> Feeding the cows? Yeah, no, we had fences break, and Nick knows what that's like. We had truant, truant kids here today, uh, so I apologize for that. But, you know, first of all, Ed, I want to thank you for sharing your wife with us for all those years. I truly appreciate that. Well, and she would have done it anyway. I know she would have, <laughs> but I wasn't going to say that. <clears throat> you know, Joni, during our 16 years, I truly appreciated the support that you gave us. And sometimes people think longevity is a bad word, but with longevity comes wisdom. And you always knew what to keep first, and that was the kids the staff, and with all the things that we experienced over those 16 years, losing $3 million in funding, 
you know, your priority and this board's priority was always to make sure it stayed as far away from the students and staff as it could. And, and I, I appreciate what you did. You're a big part of the building programs that, that have happened on this campus, the theater, the two new, the multi-purpose room, the new math and science wing, all the modernization projects. And um, I truly appreciated you. Um, and as Ed said, you know, probably one of the best characteristics you have is that you're gonna tell us what you think. And I think I appreciate that the most. Um, and, you know, I, uh, I just wanna thank you for not only serving the students, the community, uh, the staff, but, you know, just, it, it's been an honor. And I truly appreciate everything that you've done and, and wish you the best. Thank you, Joan. Tyrell. You don't have to stand if you don't. You can just well, speak loud. Well, I want to congratulate you, Joan. You're one of the most wonderful person I ever served under 12 different boards during my life. And you just don't realize how many thousands of students have gone through here and benefit for your leadership of our board and keeping us in line, keeping us professional, and doing the job that we were elected to do. I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Mrs. Phillips would like me to apologize for her not being able to attend tonight. The Agriculture Department has their advisory committee meeting tonight during, during this meeting. However, she wishes that she could be here to offer her sincere gratitude. On behalf of the Bret Hart FFA chapter, we would like to thank you for your many years of service to the students of our agriculture program. Over the last 34 years, you have provided funding and support to thousands of FFA members. Agriculture departments are only as successful as those who believe in them. And Mrs. Lark, you have believed in the Bret Hart FFA always. Your compassion and commitment set an example to the members of our chapter. Please accept this plaque as a token of our appreciation for your dedication to the agriculture program and Bret Hart FFA. <coughs> You won't be missed. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank
I'd like Roger? to say something. So Joan, you and I have served on this board together for 27 years. You served 10 years before I came on this board. And I really want to thank you for your wisdom that you gave me and your leadership. Thank you very much. Last chance. I'd like to say something. Um, <clears throat> I knew this was going to be an important job um, once it was confirmed. And I guess I should be, I guess humble is a good word, to be able to step into the place of Joe. And please keep your phone on because I'm probably going to have to give you a call because as you can see, I'm probably a little green around the gills here on this situation. So, but, um, like it's already been said, I mean, the, the knowledge and the expertise sitting right there shouldn't go away just because you're not up here. And I'm just feel lucky to be able to serve and also be able to go back to you and get some insight. So I just want to say it's, I'll be calling you. <laughs> Before we go back in doing our public business, um, Mrs. Sen Kelly made you cakes and cookies and snacks, and we'd like everybody to take 15 minutes or so to visit and have some snacks. And then, of course, you can stay for our board meeting if you want to. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, so right. up and Adam. Thank you.